Hi, Sarah Banas here, Learn to Craft. I'm going to show you today how to use font glyphs in Silhouette Studio. This is incredibly easy and a really important skill to know how to do um, to when you want to get into start making your own designs. It's incredibly easy. Um, let's go ahead and get started. If this video is of interest to you or helpful, like the video, but also subscribe to my channel. I come out with new videos once or twice a week, just lots of fun uh, ways to learn how to craft better, how to build your own designs, and um, just lots of neat new projects. I'm coming out with a really great design tutorial series over the next week it'll be releasing. So when you subscribe to the channel, you'll get a notification when the new videos come out. You won't want to miss this. So uh, let's get started. This is super easy. So there's going to be two different parts to this. If you are using basic edition or if you are using designer edition or above. So designer or business edition. So designer and business edition have um, a glyph panel built right in. So super duper easy. Uh, basic edition does not. So I'm just going to show you how to go through the regular um, character map in uh, Windows PC. So... Uh, this is very easy. So this right here is your base text, and this is what we're going to be making it. So let's take this and move this up here so we have some extra room to work. I'm going to link in the video description. I'll link this font. I just got it recently, and I absolutely love it. Um, everybody should have it. And it's actually on sale 50% off as of the time of this video. So I'm going to link that in the video description. I'm also going to link our Facebook group. So we have a collaborative of about 2 million members. Um, every craft you can imagine, Cricut, Silhouette, Epoxy, uh, Procreate groups, we have Photoshop, we have just everything. So, but I'm going to link Cricut and Silhouette for beginners. It's about 200,000 members and just Super friendly, super helpful, super knowledgeable. You'll fit right in there. Make sure you join us. You'll love it there. So I'll link that in the video description. When you're looking at the video underneath it, there's like a drop down. If you click on that, it's an arrow down. It's going to expand. I'll put in there, like I said, this font and the group. So, okay. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to show you in designer edition or above first, because that's just incredibly easy. So take this. First thing you're going to do when you click over here, and you click on um, your font and then uh, click over here, click on the A and that'll bring up your text style panel. And then right here, that G right there, that's your glyphs panel, okay? Super easy. Scroll down to the letter you wanna replace. So you can see the first letter we replaced with a glyph on this is an S, the capital S. So find the glyph that you wanna use. Something to be aware of is that the font that you're using has to match the font that you're choosing in your glyph panel, okay? So make sure that you drop that down, drop down right here to the font that you're actually using, okay? So go right there. So now what you do, go into your text, get rid of the letter you're replacing, single click one time, that's it. That's all there is to it. That's how you use glyphs on uh, designer edition or above. So let's go ahead and finish this off real quick, just, just for the heck of it. So get rid of that B, scroll up. See how pretty this font is? I just love it. B did not change the H, did change the N. Get rid of the N, scroll down. That's the N I used, single click, and that's it. That's all there is to it uh, in, um, in in designer edition or business edition. Super easy. So let's go back to our original now. Okay. If you're wondering what this name is, it's Siobhan. It's one of my absolute favorite names. It's an Irish name. There's so many beautiful Irish names. So this is how, if you have basic edition, you don't have this glyph panel. Okay. So this is how you do this in basic edition. In basic edition, you're going to want to use the character map built into Windows. Okay, so um, 
there's one that's built right into Windows. I should let me just step back for a second. There's one that's built right into Windows. I'm going to show you how to use that so that you know the basics of this. But then I'm going to show you a better way. Most people would show you just the character map in Windows. I'm going to show you a better character map. Okay. So let's first go to the basic character map that's built into Windows. Okay. So go to your start menu. Um, I'm on Windows 11. If you're on Windows 10, same thing. Your start menu is over here. So just pull that up. Type in character map. It'll come right up. This is the character map that is built into Windows. Okay. You have to, again, make sure that your font is matching. So this is... Let's find it here. There we go. Okay. And now if, if you're, when you first open it, yours may look like this. Just click on advanced view. This will come down, leave it on Unicode, click on this, click Unicode subrange, and then slide down to private use characters. And these are all of your glyphs, okay? So let's first find that S and I'll show you that. This is such a hassle. See how hard it is to see the letters? I'm going to show you a better way. You know, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to bother with hunting around in this just because it's such a hassle. So let's just grab anything. Let's grab, let's grab a, that B. Oh, got the right one. Select, copy, minimize, go into here, delete, and then control V like Victor. Okay. And that's how you use the built-in character map. Now I'm going to show you a better way. Okay. So again, pull up your start menu, type in play. You can also type in Microsoft store. I don't know why I always go to play store. I think that maybe it's my age showing, uh, but you're going into the Microsoft store and then on the top type in UI and then it'll come up UI character map. Okay. So this is the character map right here. Click on that. I already have it on mine, so I don't need to um, install it. I already have it on mine, but just install it. It's just a free app. Okay. And then right here, see how much easier that is to read. So let's, let's give me just one second. Let me find it on here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and change out that last letter with this. So with this we used, actually there's two letters left to switch out. So we used this N and see, you can see the whole letter is so much easier. Click plus and then click copy over here on the right. I don't know if you saw that. Minimize and Get rid of that. And again, control V like Victor. Okay. And I'll get rid of this S. Go back to your UI character map. Same thing. You got to make sure that your uh, font that you're using on here matches your font on your on Silhouette Studio. Plus, copy, minimize, control V like Victor. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So that is how to use font glyphs. So next we're going to get into in the series where we can get more into designing and font pairing um, and elements. And so you don't want to miss it. Like I said, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, I'll link everything in the description and the drop down. I'll link the Facebook group. Make sure you join us. You'll love it. They're fantastic group. So friendly and so helpful. Um, and I'll link this font. Like I said, you want this font. It's such a great font. Actually, this font designer has a ton of fonts that I, that I love. I'm pretty, pretty ingrained in the design industry. Um, and so I've gotten the opportunity to meet a lot of these font designers and this guy is just fantastic. I have so many of his fonts. I absolutely love. So, uh, that's it. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask them in, you know, below the video here, better yet, ask me in the group. You're always welcome to approach me in the groups. I'm there all the time. Um, and I'm always happy to help. So any questions you have, feel free to stop and ask. Have a good day. Bye.